Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. And welcome to Of What Central. Now, as much as we love making guides, talking about the meta and general health of the game, lore, so on and so forth, we are also massive idiots. Idiots who like to have fun and make crazy game modes to play with subs on streams, with our friends, so on and so forth. So you can imagine our utter excitement when we saw the server browser hit the PTR. Well, in this video, we've created some crazy game modes ourselves, as well as seen some really cool stuff on Reddit that we want to share. So we've got seven game modes that you should definitely try out yourselves. We'll include all of the settings we used in the description description below, but mostly it comes down to adjusting specific settings to fit your needs and experiment with it. That's part of the fun as well, being able to change stuff and making your own game modes from these ideas. Also, if you have any favourites that we've missed out in this video, do let us know below. We want to try out as many as possible. So if you have some of your own or some that you've played on the server browser yourself, then do let us know below. Asymmetric team-based game modes have become very popular in many games over the past few years. Evolve is a good example of one player playing a boss character, whilst four others try to take them down. Well, you can now do the same thing in Overwatch and the boss should be Winston in our case. The game mode is elimination like on Eco Point Antarctica, but you can also set this game mode up on some other control rounds. Instead of just having the 3v3 limbs on Eco Point, you can have them on the well map on Ilios, city center on Oasis, so on and so forth. So you can change which environment you fight Winston in. Also, with some of the aesthetics, it can feel very Shadow of the Colossus-esque, this game mode. So, how do you set it up? Well, set up one team to have one player and the other team between four to six players. Team 1 should only have Winston in their hero pool, and Team 2 can be anyone but Winston. However, it's not that fun to be playing Farah because you just fly far away from the Winston, but you can experiment with those picks as you wish. Then from here you want to increase Winston's health by two times. Then change the damage dealing, damage received, speed and ability cooldown as you see fit. A lot of the fun comes from adjusting the settings to your liking and adding stupid sort of twists into the game mode, but we would definitely recommend turning healing off for Winston as well as disabling Primal Rage. Maps with verticality and places you can fall off of, like the gardens on Legion Tower and Sanctum on Nepal, really make you feel like you're in a sort of boss battle. Our next one is Reinhardt Rumble, a custom game mode that we've been playing for quite some time on our streams and as part of like show matches with ESL. It's basically an all Reinhardt control map, Nepal is the best place for this. His ability times are low in cooldown, his health decreased a little bit and basically the only thing you could do is to charge one another or flame strike and it's just a crazy battle onto the point. The health is a little bit lower to one shot Ryan with a charge and the respawn time is a little bit lower as well to make sure that people are constantly coming onto the battle. But we definitely recommend using the movement speed increase on this as well for added craziness. Also you do get a lot of spam charge rawr, from Reinhardt as well. It's just a bit weird but it's also really fun with a 6v6. On to our next one which is Reinhardt related again. This game mode is asymmetrical and probably involves 4 to 8 players of you 8 total. The game mode is elimination again and the gist of this goes as follows. Reinhardt chases tracers around, Reinhardt's movement speed is double the normal, his melee attacks will one shot the tracer and the tracer will not have recall but has blinks on a much slower cooldown. She does move 1.5 times faster though, and generally it's a game for Reinhardt to TIG or TAG all of the tracers. The winner is either the Reinhardt who kills everyone, or until the end of the time runs out in elimination, which I think is around 3 minutes. To balance this out, it's fair to have 3 tracers per Reinhardt, so you can choose between a 6v2 or a 3v1 kinda, and that way the two Reins can work together to kill all those annoying tracers within the time limit. Then when that's done, the round finishes and a new player becomes the Reinhardt. It's pretty straightforward, but fun nonetheless. Next up is a game mode that surfaced its way onto the top of the Overwatch subreddit a few days ago. MXC14 showed us his sick moves on the subreddit as he traversed across the start of Numbani to the end within seconds. It's a simple concept, Lucio only, 300% speed, you can lower it a little bit, we would recommend that you do that, and get to the other side of the map first. But we've added a couple of rules to make this game last a little bit longer, as well as to make it a little bit fairer. To start, a spectator counts down, of course, all players tag the wall that they are at at the start, and then make their way to the end of the map tag the back wall there and then make their way back to the start. So the race is basically there and back. Numbani is the best map for this as it's a sleek design, it's great for wall riding but can be done on Hollywood, Kings Road, Dorado, so on and so forth. But just bear in mind that some maps aren't really great for wall riding. And this game mode is also great if you're listening to the Tron soundtrack or some F-Zero music. I mean, you gotta go fast. Next up is Hide and Seek, very similar to Reinhardt Tig but a little bit more stealthy. 
The catcher is Winston who has increased damage and a little bit of movement speed and he has to chase down Sombras across a control map. This is another elimination mode where Sombra has some cooldowns adjustments on her abilities just to not have all Sombras be constantly invisible and for the translocator to not be as OP. But yeah other than that the win condition for Winston is to pick off all of the Sombras. However for Sombras there can be a couple win conditions. First of all survive for two minutes. You'll know when you hit this in elimination game modes as players can now see outlines of the enemy. Of course when this happens to you as a Sombra you're just dead so we usually play up until this point. Another type of win condition is trying to sneak to the other side of the map. Tag it like in the Lucy racing and then make your way back. The main point of this game mode is just trying to be stealthy and have it be this whole sort of surprise thing when Winston actually jumps you. So Winston is kind of a monster playstyle with this game mode. We definitely recommend it. If you're not paying much attention as Sombra it can actually be a bit of a jump scare when Winston actually gets to you. And yeah it's definitely a lot of fun. Hello. No! No! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That scared the shit out of me. This game mode you've probably heard of before as it's now a fan favourite as it made its way onto the subreddit as well. This game mode's called Predator. It's very similar to the previous hide and seek option, but Reddit and YouTube user Dashuk, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, created a game mode of a 1v3 elimination which has a buffed Sombra go up against three nerfed soldiers with only their primary and secondary fire. Neither team can heal nor see the enemy's health and it makes for a thrilling matchup. The soldiers need to survive in order to reveal Sombra on the map, but even then she won't be easy to take down. We played this on stream last night, we made up another win condition that the soldiers have to make it from one side of the map to the other. Almost like a get to the chopper sort of thing. God that was a bad impression. But I sure as hell wouldn't want to go up against Cody Niku in this game mode, as Sombra is kinda scary in this. Last one is like two or three game modes in one, but it's mainly a suggestion that you can try out. It has to do with Quake and Cisco and all those other types of shooters that inspired Overwatch in the first place. For the Quake type of game mode, it's mostly just Pharah, so you can do bigger explosions, higher movement speed, you can remove the jetpack if you want, and you can play this on any type of map, but we do recommend Control. The Counter-Strike type of game mode would be Elimination, all McCrees with a little bit less damage, so you don't kill each other as quickly. But yeah, we put all these game modes in sort of one category because they're inspired by other games, mainly FPS games, and we can recommend to check out the in-game browser for other game modes that other people have made, take inspiration from those and sort of craft your own. If you do have any cool custom games yourself though let us know in the comments below and we may do another video in the future with your ideas. Because we're nice here at Overwatch Central we thought we'd include an extra one and that is the Omnic Crisis game mode. It's a spin-off idea that Force Gaming had a while ago before this PvE event was announced. Basically, three to four players have to defend against six hard bastion bots, or players as well, that are a little bit buffed and will try their best to push the payload along and push you back. The best map to do this on is Eichenwald for RP reasons, but this one it's about messing with the settings, making sure that the bastions are strong enough that they're a challenge to bring down, but not that they just completely wipe you out all of the time. As we said we like Eichenwald on this, but the pure payload maps are also good on this with Dorada, Route 66 and Gibraltar. And with that we've reached the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. These are just some of our favourites that we've come up with ourselves, that we've seen. A lot of these ideas are sort of darting around and there are plenty of subreddits that I'll include in the description where constant ideas have been put up. If this is something that you like, we might do more videos showcasing some of the best brawls that have been put out there. Who knows, maybe even grabbing Stylosa, one amongst many, and playing a couple ourselves, and doing a kind of multicam mix-up thing. But do let us know in the comments below, like this video if you want to see more server browser videos, us showcasing the best ones, and until next time take care, we'll see you then.